Hello, um, hi. I have not done a pregnancy vlog in a minute, so I'm very sorry. Um, holy wow, guys. Third trimester, um, I only have two months left to go, and I am feeling it. I am tired. Um, I'm not hurting, which is great, and I'm not, um, like sick or anything like that, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> I literally was just telling Carlos, and sorry, it's a little bit echoey in here because we finally cleared out the nursery with the exception of this little thing behind us so that um, our girl Vanessa can come in and decorate this thing all up and we'll be videoing the process. Um, please send me any, um, I wonder, oh, on Twitter. Why don't you guys send me on Twitter pictures that you've done with your nursery to give me some ideas. I'm kind of going on Pinterest right now. Nurseries are tough because I want it to be like a baby room, obviously, <laughs> but I also still want it to be classy and to flow with the rest of the house. So, um, I guess, I'm trying to find a balance of that. Did you guys balance it out? Did you go full on baby room? What did you guys do? So please send me your pictures on Twitter. Um, yeah, cause I don't know where else you could post them. I don't think you can post pictures in the comment section on YouTube, can you? That would be really cool. I would love that. Anyway, um, I was just telling Carlos the other day um, that, you know, it's funny because I feel like the first trimester and the third trimester kind of mirror each other because I was so exhausted in that first trimester because your body's just getting used to all of these changes and things are happening and you're not quite sure what's going on. And then now that I'm in uh, the second trimester was super, super, sorry, man down. Uh, the second trimester was super fun and a lot of energy and just feeling way more like myself because I think your body's adjusting and the third trimester at least the beginning of it was still like that but now I'm feeling like the weight of ocean <laughs> he is getting big and he's kicking so much and I think because it's just your body is taking so much energy to kind of feed and house this little being that yeah it wipes you out um, we are about to go to the gym though. I'm trying to stay active and keep my heart rate up and going. Um, Cause I notice when, I, when I'm sitting down and sitting around, I get even more tired and kind of lethargic feeling as opposed to when I'm just up and going, you just get a boost of energy. So if anybody else is feeling this way, as much as I do not want to go to the gym right now, just do it, like just go, you'll feel better, it's healthier for you. I'm not saying lift heavy weights or anything like that by all means, but even if you get a healthy walk in, just that movement is so good for you and so good for your baby. Um, and actually, I think, not that we want to go into labor now, but I think later on as your body prepares to go into labor, they suggest you walking around because it helps induce. I'm not sure exactly. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure I heard that because my friend Hannah's like, don't walk too much or you'll go into labor. She's due any day now, by the way. So we're gonna go visit her later. Um, my brain is scatterbrained still, um, just kind of all over the place. I, yeah, it's, I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm so tired. Like, I still have, I'm still me. I still have that kind of energy, but, I've just been exhausted. <laughs> um, okay, as far as things that we're gonna need when we're pregnant, you guys are writing in talking about some things that you really liked. Others are saying that they didn't. Like I, one girl said that she loved wet wipe warmers and that they were the most amazing thing ever. Somebody else wrote in talking about how they didn't even use their wet wipe warmers and don't do it, it's a waste of money. I think, I kind of would like to try it um, I feel like it would make a little bit of a difference, especially if the baby is, is sleeping and it's in the middle of the night and then, then they need a change or whatever's happening. The last thing I'd want to do is like, put cold wet wipes on, on his little tushy. So, so I feel like a warmer might be good. I'm going to try that. Um, I have to pull up something. You guys were talking and, oh, 
You guys, oh, Carlos is texting. Mm, I'm turn that down. Um, you guys were talking about strollers, different strollers, different car seats. So I was on the phone with this girl who was really, really helpful, and I was just asking her, so, you know, what kind of stroller do I want? Are you supposed to buy more than one stroller? Because she compared a stroller to shoes. She literally was like, well, I mean, you could have one pair of shoes and it would be, you know, great and fine. You could, you could live with one pair of shoes, but ideally you need more. You need running shoes. You need like regular walking shoes. Carlos is sneaking in. <laughs> so, so do you want to do the pregnancy vlog with me? No. Come here. Let's no, this is all about you. No. I, I just wanted to come and tell you it's 105. Oh, so we have to hurry. We have a big day. Not, not, not hurry, but can, can, I don't know what I'm supposed to, I don't know what I'm saying. Condense what I'm saying. Condense your thoughts. But that's so difficult because I have pregnancy brain and my thoughts are like, well, all here, over. well, here's the thing. Who am I to tell you what to do? This is your vlog. This is your pregnancy vlog. It's up. But we're pregnant. Yeah. Well, yes, but I don't do anything besides Wait. massage your feet. Wait, no, no, no. Actually, back. I want to ask you. So, how often do you massage my feet and, like, rub my back and stuff like that? Well, I, I, I don't hear you complain that much. So no, no, no. no. I, mean, just, I would just want to ask you No, no. Ball. Of course. But I, I, I don't hear you complain that much, so I'm guessing it's, like, a decent amount. You know? I think in this entire pregnancy, I've had two foot massages. That's a lot. Which is... That's a lie. I tickled your back this morning. You said you did this. Hold on. Stay. You stay right here. You said good morning. <laughs> that does not count. So here, the reason why I'm saying this. Let me just no. clarify. Let me just clarify. That's a back tickle. Now, if you were to get to like the court of law and say, is that a tickle on your back? A back tickle? Yes. Hold on. But the reason I'm why out. I'm saying this. This is getting me in trouble. Hold on, no, no, it's not getting me in trouble. This is actually good. I know that a lot of people are, like, they, they just want their husbands so badly involved in all of this. Guess what? Some husbands aren't like that. Carlos supports me in many other ways. He's not a massager. He's not a tickler. He doesn't like stuff like that. Yes, I still massage him and tickle him because he's a big baby. It's so true. <laughs> and I still love him. Would I like foot massages and back tickles and that attention? Yes. That's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. That that's it? Yeah. Wow. Babe, you just gotta speak up. Oh my gosh. Anyway, no, there, go. there are I don't remember if I've talked about this in a vlog before, but um but I know that I was talking about something else before he came in, but I wanna finish this thought. Um every pregnancy experience is going to be completely different and you cannot compare one spouse to another because everybody's gonna handle things differently. Like Carlos, he cannot stand blood or yucky stuff, anything like that. I don't mind, I've never been bothered by bugs or mud or blood or anything. Um, but for him, it's kind of a sensitive area. So he's not gonna be the kind of dad who wants to watch the delivery. He's gonna be the husband who is, you know, holding my hand by my side and that's okay. And I think one of the hardest things during your pregnancy experience is expectation. Because I think as wives, we have a lot of expectations of wanting our husbands to either talk to our babies or to, kind of just like feel all the kicks and all the little things. And I want you to know that not everybody is gonna be into it and that's okay. And I was talking to Carlos about it because I always want him to feel ocean. I'm like, baby, feel his little kicks, but it freaks him out. He genuinely is like, okay, I, he's like, I love this kid, but the idea of like touching it and feeling him kick through your stomach, he goes, it's just kind of creepy. And at first, it kind of hurt my feelings. I'm like, oh my gosh, why, why doesn't he like that? But I think because I grew up being the oldest of so many kids and I watched my mom birth them all and I did used to feel her tummy, I was very close to all of that, so it felt normal to me. I feel like it will change in the second pregnancy. I think once Ocean comes out and Carlos sees him and bonds with him and has this like exciting amazing father-son moment i think the next time i get pregnant 
he's going to want to be a little bit more involved with that pregnancy. I hope this is making any sense whatsoever. <laughs> but um, so basically, don't try not to set your expectations high because we can't get mad. Like I don't want to ever get mad at Carlos for not wanting to feel my belly or not wanting to like come up and, and talk to Ocean because he's getting to know Ocean in a completely different way than I am. I mean, he lives within me and I feel him all the time. I have this connection. For our husbands, it's a totally different experience. So um, just remember, even though we're very sensitive, we need to be a little sensitive to how they're feeling throughout this whole journey because we're changing a lot. Um, okay, I'm gonna segue back really quickly into strollers and then, and then I'll be done because we have to go, but I promise I'll make another vlog that's actually um, helpful. <laughs> um, but uh, with the strollers, she literally compared it to shoes and said that you're gonna want a few different strollers. But that was so mind boggling to me because strollers, one, are very expensive. They are not cheap and they are, just, I mean, they're obviously a necessity. I'm going to want a stroller, but the idea of getting a bunch of strollers kind of blew my mind. But I can see why. I am, like, I love staying fit and running around and being healthy. So I would want a jogging stroller. And then I would probably not use that same stroller when I travel. I wouldn't probably take that one. So I'm just trying to understand what strollers I have to buy. Apparently I need to buy more than one. So now I gotta figure out what strollers I'm getting. <laughs> um, all interesting things to think about. Um, my friend Hannah is about to deliver, I mean, are about to go into labor, so within the next couple days, she is going to pop. Um, so she has packed her hospital bag. I might bring the camera today just to um, sneak peek into her hospital bag, but I probably won't show you guys until the next vlog um, because I just ordered um, my hospital gown. I wanted to be really comfy, so instead of getting um, like regular pajamas. I got just like a big pullover so I didn't have to step into anything. That might be a good idea. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. I will see you guys in the next vlog with Hannah's bag, hopefully some of my hospital bag, and um, oh, we're doing a giveaway in the next vlog, so stay tuned. Bye!